power of Ouroboros! Ed is redeeming himself right now. Full oh, Ouroboros! You're kidding me! So I was thinking, this is the last Xenoblade stream I'm gonna be doing until there's a new game out. How can I make this stream special? How can I make this stream great? What could I do to like, almost like power myself up? So, I'll be right back. Chat, this is a bean burrito from Taco Bell. How else could I power myself up like our main man, Matthew, if I wasn't full of beans? I'm feeling full of beans, chat. <laughs> This does not taste good. I don't even like Taco Bell. Like, look at this thing. I'm biting into the doo-doo burrito. What the heck is this? It's not what I wanted, but it is what I needed right now on this eve of greatness. Chapter 4 dropped a lot of information on us that I was not ready for. I thought I was ready. I was not ready. The two worlds evolving simultaneously alongside of each other and then like recapping each game's plot, like kind of it showed so many like important scenes and characters and I never thought we'd see them again. And I'm telling you, mwah, chef's kiss. Like they kind of explained how the world separated and rejoined in the main game, but not like this. That was gourmet food. Speaking of gourmet food, this is not gourmet food. <laughs> Matthew, I have no idea how you fight. Well, you, well, you are full of beans, my guy. Who's gonna save the world if Nico Man gets the runs? What am I gonna do if Mr. Turtlehead decides to peek his head out during the final boss? What am I supposed to do? Uh, but going back to like the little details about the characters and the world and the dialogue, it is so cool how they really explored how Shulk and Rex have matured and yet still act like their old selves. Watching Shulk connect with Nicole over like tinkering on machinery and just remembering the opening cutscene of Xenoblade 1 where he's like, Oh my gosh, it's an M48 or whatever he says. And he's like, oh, this will be great for like a, a monkey wrench or something. You know, I'm paraphrasing, but he's like so excited over machinery. And then Rex talking to Glimmer in that one cutscene, And he's like, Glimmer's like, why are you doing what you're doing? And Rex says, smiles. It's if I can put smiles on other people's faces, help them live their lives together even. And it's just so believable. Like Shulk mentioned at the end of chapter four, he doesn't like getting older. Because as he said, it saps his courage. Honestly, makes so much sense and is so believable. Now, he has so much more to protect. He has a son. He has the whole world that he fought for so hard, he can't lose at all. He wants to fight, but he's it's, it's just... It's a very believable take on a character once thought that was so determined, you know what I mean? I can feel its power surging through me already. I don't need it. Not where I'm going, Ollie. I'm going to Flavor Country. Next, I want to talk about, in my opinion, is the greatest sequence of cutscenes in this DLC so far. Because we haven't viewed Chapter 5, so I can't judge it, say, in the expansion totally. A said to Matthew, please hear N out before you get really mad at him, and then make your decision after you've seen what he was forced to do. Monolith Soft is so good at recontextualizing scenes in this series. Like the final experiment with Klaus, you seeing it in Xenoblade 1 versus Xenoblade 2, there was so much more depth added in the Xenoblade 2 universe, even though it was the same scene. It was the same scene over again. Finding out Alvis wasn't just a random dude who randomly found a magic red sword. No, he was an Aegis, bro. And you only found that out in Xenoblade 2. Minor details that they omit initially and then cover the second time around, They've done it again with N destroying the city. Let me tell you that. It really did not make sense for N to just be like, yeah, I'm going to kill my son. Why would he do that? Because parents, their children are the most important thing in the world to them. Ask any parent, their children, that is their number one priority in their life. He wouldn't just kill his son because Zed told him to, but that's what Matthew walked in on is N stabbing Gondor. So. Matthew only thought, what is with this guy just killing my granddad? But that wasn't the whole story. Now we saw what happened right before that. N had no choice but to stop Alpha, because if he didn't, the entire world ended. Just seeing it from that point of view, it's either kill his great granddaughter and save the world kind of, or let everyone die. He was doing what he had to do. He, like he said, it, it was his duty. He was completely divorced of the whole family thing. And like, like Glimmer said, look at N during the confrontation of Prison Island. Look at his eyes. That man is a tortured soul. Like N knows 
N knows that he messed up, and he knows how bad he's messed up. It was even before M yelled at him in chapter six of the main game when he's like, she was like, how dare you talk about your feelings of loss or whatever. And then he's like, I had to do it. Blah, blah, blah. Like he knew he already messed up at that point. Matthew gave him one to the dome piece and he just let it happen. He didn't even try to block it when he easily could have because he's strong. But like also, what was he supposed to do? Do. He already made the choice to become Mobius. He couldn't go back on that at this point. His only choice is to kill Alpha. In a in a way, I was saying this during my initial reaction. In a way, hang on. In a way, he is fighting for the future because he's trying to keep the world safe as it is and for there to be a chance. In a way, he's kind of playing the hero. Not really, not fully, but kind of in a way. The ends justify the beans. Don't say that. And even then, he didn't want to kill Gondor, like I said. And I think the end was already dead inside, but that scene, re-seeing it, him saying the burden is mine alone to bear, and psyche, end's mental state died in that scene. And the main game version of N is just a broken man scrapping for any piece of evidence that he did not make the right choice. Or that, that he did not make the wrong choice, sorry. He's kind of gaslighting himself. It's kind of like... Yeah, in the last scene, in the last confrontation with N and um, Noah, Noah's like, N, why, are you, why do you keep doing this to yourself? But at the same time, I understand. He knows it's a bad choice, but it's the only choice he has left at this point. Because if he admits to himself he made the wrong decision, he doesn't deserve to live. You know what I mean? It's, it's surprisingly extremely deep. <laughs> you might think I'm exaggerating. This is ass, dude. <laughs> this is so bad. Burrito progress bar? Yeah, I got like a third of a burrito left. <laughs> That's how you know I'm two thirds done with my speech. Now moving on, like Alvis, or I guess I should say Alpha now, said in the first game, he was there at the beginning and he will proclaim the end. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to see what this final boss will be like because I am 99% sure it is Alpha. I highly doubt it, but it could be Zed. Is Zed gonna fight alongside of us this time? Are we gonna fully unlock Ouroboros powers? Are we actually gonna get a full interlink going? But like I said, Alpha is not in the base game. So everything points to Alpha going down right here, which is another thing. If Alpha goes down, I said it in the last chapter. If Alpha goes down, A is gonna go down as well because A comes from Alpha. And if they dome the Trinity processor or whatever, or the, the core of, uh, of of Ontos, A is not gonna be around for much longer. I'm telling you. I feel like A knows what is going to happen. And A is like, I gotta, I gotta do this because A knew what happened with N, that final affinity scene right before you ascend the, the steps of Prison Island, A was like, I everything I've done has led up to this. Thank you, Matthew. It's like, that was like a very final type thing for A to say if they knew they were going to be just fine after this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the, of the cell. No, the bean burrito is the powerhouse of the Nico man. There's one more thing I want to talk about before we get started. Our main man, Klaus. They dropped his name a few times so far. But if we're sticking with the theme of like, he started it, everything in this series, with that experiment, then you can bet your bottom knop on medallion that he is going to be part of this ending. I literally couldn't even comprehend how, but that's where my last wacky gamer theory comes in. You guys ready? You're asking me right now to step up to the plate with a blindfold on, bat in my hands, bases loaded with two outs, bottom of the ninth in game seven of the World Series with MVP pitcher Shohei Otani on the pitcher's mound right now, slinging 100 mile an hour piss missiles down the lane, dude, down the strike zone. And the Martians have the death beam pointed at Earth, and I better hit a home run, otherwise Earth explodes. You better hit it. Klaus was Zed the whole time. <laughs> He's in charge of Origin, which I think about it, Klaus is in charge of the World Tree and Xenoblade 2. He's in charge of the, the, the Trinity Processor, which like the computer, right? And the Trinity Processor is at the core of Origin, right? So he'd be in charge of it again, maybe? And Zed's in charge of it. Also, he kind of looks like Klaus. Like not, he, well, I shouldn't say he really looks like him, but he's like not that far off. On top of that, his name is Zed. You know what one of Klaus's forms took was named? Z Z Zanza. Both start with a Z. It's all coming together. Didn't Klaus try to make amends at the end of Xenoblade 2? Well, that's the thing. 
there's multiple Klaus's squid because there's one in Xenoblade 2 and there's one in Xenoblade 1. The one in Xenoblade 1 is like, I'm an evil son of a bitch. And the one in Xenoblade 2 is like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> in Xenoblade 3, maybe he's like, I'm watching movies all day. <laughs> I know how absurd this sounds, but if I had to throw out a theory, this is the only theory I can think of that like would kind of make sense. And with that being said, let's get into this. <laughs> I'm feeling full of beans. There we go. Everyone says I'm not ready. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Good afternoon. This is 11 News. Wednesday, May 16th. Huh? Weather in the Radamanthus Authority is fair. It is 24 degrees centigrade, 56% huh? humidity. Continuing yesterday. Okay, there's Niel. promises to be pleasant. Today's news. Okay, what? Where? What? Where are we? Okay, maybe I should just let it play. But. Delivered by me, Sienna Morgan. With additional analysis by our political correspondent, Barry Crowley. And Niles is there. Where are they? <laughs> Welcome to suburbia? What? We're gonna have a lawn and two kids. The American dream. What is this? Where even? Whoa, what's all this supposed to be? <clears throat> what is this place? Seriously, I don't know. What the like fuck is going on right now? Away. You guys were lying. <laughs> Why are we in be suburbia? Careful. Place as strange as this, anything at all could happen. What? I know what that is. I know what that is. I know what that is. Are we in the original, like the original world, like the very first world before Klaus did his whole shenanigans? Because I, the, the weather lady on the radio said Radamanthus, and I know Radamanthus, that's one of the beanstalks from Xenoblade 2, that's one of the beanstalks. I'm telling you, why are we in suburbia, man? I don't get it. I'm gonna go ding dong ditch this motherfucker. Dong dong go. Oh, get out of here. Oh, hide, hide, hide. Run, guys, run. Okay, you know how I said this has something to do with Klaus? Oh my gosh. This is the ruins of Mortha before it was destroyed. <laughs> Pretty. I've never seen anything like this. It's just like wow. normal life. It's like they're all sparkling. Like, this is what a city today looks like. Well, except for this giant space An needle. enormous one. <laughs> That's a little so far-fetched. huge. Bigger than a castle. Shulk. This is what I think it is. The beanstalk. Yeah. <laughs> the source of us all. Uh-huh. And who's Don't up there that. on top of that? No. Klaus. Klaus is wild. <laughs> He's up there Before right now. The fall. Before mine and Rex's worlds came to be, everything was one. And he separated it. And this is that place. Um, what you said at Matthew the base was flabbergasted. about the two worlds before they came together. This was even further back than those ones. Well, the worlds were we'll once one, and, and then they split, and then they're oh, trying to come Christ. back together. So what? We've traveled back into the past then? No, not really. This uh, is Origin's what? memory stage. We were directly underneath it. Oh, yeah. this is data in origin. I think we're probably inside of it now. So we're in origin right now. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because it's a computer. We're seeing we're data. We're inside someone's memories. Of all the people who could remember this era, only one. Klaus left. or Alpha? Alpha, eh? Yeah. But what's the point of him showing us all this? Is it really Alpha that's doing this? But hmm? origin's based on Alpha... Antos's core, Alpha's core, right? I can hear piano from up ahead. What is going on? This is ridiculous. This is absurd. And I love it. Who thought of this? Tetsuya Takuhashi. And the fact that they're playing the main theme, like the title theme, and they're actually including it in the game, dude. I got nothing to say. This is just so cool. How did they 
See, how do you even, how do you conceptualize this in game design? Like, how do you plan this far out? This is what I was saying. Monolith Soft, how do you know this far out that you're gonna run this bit? Matthew in the burbs, he's gotta water the plants. He's gotta walk the dog. Life is good. Is this actually her though? I mean, she doesn't have the core anymore. Huh? Matthew! Maybe she's at peace here? Welcome! I was waiting for you. Well, Barry, don't you think this weather we're having is just perfect? No, oh. I do. Tea and How crumpets! Come your... It's such a wonderful place, isn't it? I've always dreamed of this. A place is this the world that Alpha's trying to create? A place Most of our to call home. And not just for you and me, but for everyone we know. <laughs> this is all the city people. Uh, when did they... <laughs> Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way? Can we have a snack? Yeah, that's okay. a different font. Right, that does look like the Xenoblade 2 font. What? <laughs> the Atlanta ships. There's plenty to go around. The project will send a total of 10 million people out into the great beyond. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold the hold. Actually, hold on. I could have sworn that the amount of people they sent away in Xenoblade X on the white whales, the multiple ships, was 10 million. Am I wrong? Tell me if someone tell me I'm wrong right now, or that's the theory I'm going with. Tell me I'm wrong right now, or that's going to be on the dome piece for a while. For our next story. It concerns the Saviorite. The Saviorite! That's what they said in the Xenoblade 2, the, 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 the Klaus scene. It's like the Saviorite rebels are almost ready to capture it. We locked out by Professor Klaus. Isn't this great? There's no room for woes or worries here. This world out there there's a is world going like to get destroyed, waiting. isn't it? A place for new Because the reason Klaus live. did what he did, or he Just thought like he this. he was saving the world, because the world was destroying itself, like this world. It was promised. Which is why he tried to open the conduit, him. right? Him. The person with the silver hair and kind eyes. Alpha. He gave us this beautiful world. We can set out unburdened, and all this can be ours. You see? We don't need any of this old life. Yeah, but you're leaving so much behind, dude. The whole, like... Certainly. It's oh, beautiful. they're here. Now. Isn't the whole, like, ethos don't of Xenoblade you know that all after? life should, like, walk have forward, though? Seen it? <laughs> and have the freedom to choose, Weren't if you, you will? Curious. I think you suspect already how it changed, what became of this world. Like you said, Niall, people always kill people. Even having built the perfect world. Well, this is the line from the trailer. Wow, they were in suburbia. Designed the beyond. Yeah. And then the world became the way it is now. This is like a war-stricken world, right? This isn't Mortha world yet, right? Nice. This is all life. No, it is. Don't think your ludicrous stories are going to change my mind. He made me an inviolable promise. He said this is what awaits us at the well, end yeah, of the world. Yeah, but he's road. based on he said we could the make collective like thoughts this. of humans. Oh, Klaus thought he was doing the right thing. Of course he thinks it's going to work. Really? <laughs> you think that? Of course I do. Wherever you go, it's the same. You leave them... It only ends one way. Killing to live. What a load of crap. Good riddance to anything those butchers want to save. Like Again, I was saying. I can't forgive Mobius either. Reaping lives like grain during harvest. But come on. But they are trying what to save the world in a way. Committed. What did they do? They weren't given a single choice. They were just trying to make the most of each moment. Like us. Everyone you know died for that. <gasps> Are you okay with that, Matthew? No, <laughs> not fully. Of course I'm bloody not. What you're talking of doing would make you exactly the same as Mobius. Exactly mm. the same. If In you a way, build a yeah. new world on that foundation, it'll only end one way. Eventually it will like be this. ruined. Eventually. You can't hold on forever. And this is the future you want? If it weren't for those guys, we wouldn't even be here. 
It's Don't crazy how the chain of events it. all lined up to this. You know who it is. Mobius or Alpha. It doesn't matter what you call them. The real it's, enemies it's whoever us threatens humans? our lives. Whoever tries to rob us of our hopes and dreams. In a Let's way, build just a future, humans. Nael. The one our elders wanted. A world with, with the freedom to choose. Come on. What do you say? Yeah, why why does N look like that in that photo? Uh oh. N, or not N. Why does Noah look so goofy in that photo? He really does. Uh oh. What is going on? Is Alpha taking control or something? We're in origin! Bro! Crucified! Nope. Oh, I love his voice. Listen to his music. I cannot stand such drivel. <laughs> Alpha. I safeguard this world by removing what is time war. But it seems that you continue Damn, to Damn, I love his voice. You spur these olden mortals to action. I am your conscience. conscience. The human part. There is no place for it in the Trinity process. It's you there's no place for, Alpha. Cause Klaus, he entrusted the future to us. So he, he did! For his past. At the end he of Xenoblade 2, he did! He said the he rest is to up to you. That his conscience led him astray. An atavistic delusion. It is common among the old. Wholly unnecessary for all This music is life. crazy. I knew it. Of course that would be your vision of the world. As long as there's people like you, nothing's ever going to change. Casting off the old world and its people are just walking away. Listen to this music. It, it's like the Zanza theme. Turning around. Da, 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 going back. Da, 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 looking for a da, new way da, 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 da. Doing that time and again. Yeah. That's how you build a future. But you're just an obsolete piece of scrap. So no wonder you don't get it. You say I am obsolete. God. It is so... Yep. He's giving him. A is giving him the the thumbs up. Life is on our side. It's so cool to hear this his voice, though. In you. You're destined for the scrap heap. Let's do this, Matthew. Time to bring things to an end. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me, Niall. This music, bro. Picture time. <laughs> okay, real quick. Can can you guys say what were you yelling about during the radio? What was going on with the radio? Because the only thing I heard was like Radamanthus and like Savior, right? And like my theory about Xenoblade X, kind of. It was quoting Xenosaga things. What? See, I know nothing about Xenosaga at all. Saviorite was Xenoblade 2, I know that. And then the 10 million they sent away on multiple ships, that sounded like Xenoblade X. But then again, I could be wrong on the specifics. They name dropped a character from Xenosaga. What? <laughs> I had no idea. I thought Monolith Soft didn't have the rights to Xenosaga anymore. Or is that Xeno, uh, what's the other one? Xenosaga! And Bandai Namco! Okay, so apparently they name dropped a Xenosaga series character, and it actually is because the IP is right here. Are they, did they actually reference the White Whale, like, expedition? Not, not, you know what I mean? Like, where they sent a bunch of ships off? Because is Xenoblade X actually related to this? They said Project Exodus. I must have missed that. Dude, that's crazy! Because at the start of Xenoblade X, Lynn was doing like her narration, but it was like a fight in space between a bunch of aliens above Earth. And then in Xenoblade 2, when Klaus was about to do his conduit doohickey, there were robots fighting around him in space or like, like space creatures everywhere, dude. You know what I'm talking about? It's all coming together. I'm gonna have to go back and listen to that whole radio speech, but just knowing that it's connected to Xenosaga officially, because it's right there. I see it. And Xenoblade X, they purposely used language that connects to Xenoblade X. Monolith Soft, you beautiful bastards. If they make a Xenoblade Chronicles X2, it's all connected. It all goes back to Klaus. There it is, you guys, the Xenoblade. These really were the Xenoblade Chronicles. Let's ride. Whoa! I got knocked on my booty. He just used the Baba Booey Blast. That's crazy. And Shulk's using a version of the Monado. <laughs> against the Monado. Guys, can I chain attack him without the music stopping? 
Okay, good, good, because I want to chain attack him. Where's Monado jungle when you need it, dude? Oh, he's angry. Monado speed. Oh, he's actually using all the Monado arts. Niall is just chilling in the back right now, just crucified, looking like that one, ju like that one Juju meme. You know the one. <laughs> he's just crucified. Okay, I broke him. Chain attack, go. As much as I absolutely groove to the Xenoblade 3 chain attack theme, I am glad it did not play here. Show rise to the occasion. Holy moly. Sit down, Antos. <laughs> Look at him. Wait, what? This isn't it. This is not it. This is not it. What is he doing? Orboros. Is he taking my Jojo stand? Now he's trying to suck Matthew in too. He's found it. The trace of turmoil. That's still within him. This is this, this is the same music it played in the amphitheater at the end of chapter seven, right? But wait when you fight Zed. No. Boros, come on. Rip it out right now. Interlink, bro. You simply strode forth towards the future. But the old Hearing him say future did not find value in it. You must have realized this is not where you belong. Matthew, you're gonna have to say screw you right now. Why make a martyr of yourself? Why be a stepping stone? For as long as the old does not excise, mankind has no future. The old? You say in your hands. Matthew, Matthew, make a decision right now. You can do it. Kidding me? I'm nowhere near done yet. I'm if you want the future, you gotta grab it by the balls right now. I'm not done. <laughs> N. Huh? He broke Orchid. He's fighting for the future. Is he with us? Well, we always knew he was with us, but, like, technically, by a technicality. He just wants Alpha dead. Matthew! Noel! Is she good? Also, what is Alpha doing right now? You again. Is he trying to make up and for his mistake? Don't mistake me. I am one who lives in the now. See, like you're saying that, no but I don't believe you. I think <laughs> you know what's right, N. I thought you'd say that, and that's why. Because you didn't kill. I can't afford to just take off. You didn't kill Niall, I don't <laughs> think. Nope. Hey. Matthew. Hey. And he said he was going to, and he didn't. You okay? Mm. Then let's seize it together. Our true future. Mm. It's sorry. not a Xenoblade it's game if it doesn't end with you grabbing the future by I've the bollocks. Stuff I want to say to you. <laughs> Let's but fight right, together right now. I'm glad we're both fighting on the same side. Oh. Am I right? Ends having a little little moment of redemption kind of he's go. still he's Mr. still messed Alpha, up sir. royally you want to go sir? so badly then pick up and go this world it belongs to us ah! regrettable matthew i'd hoped that we could celebrate the day of departure together it seems that i must forsake you the olden ones and olden riku's here life. too i just noticed that Your riku and notions what is this? Electric guitar. He, he's he's morphing. He's going into phase two. I don't know what that could be. There's a there's a phase two to this song. A climax theme, kind of. Maybe not literally. Dude. Final destination. We are fighting. Go uh, what's his name? Not Galim. What's the blue guy's name? What is going? Taboo! Bro, this is this is the end of the subspace emissary right here, bro. Taboo! What the hell am I looking at? That's Diesel! He's a faceless computer. With the Monado? 
Uh-huh. What is going on? I Why do you look like that? The true mana- Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. No pausing. And this is everything. Is Niall fighting with us? <gasps> we have seven party members. I was wondering why there was a seven slot. Lucky seven? I don't know about that. There are seven of us fighting for the future right now, though. I'm gonna have to listen to this theme after this fight is over, because this is crazy, but I can't hear it all over all the attacks. Penetrating judgment. You're gonna have to do better than that, Alpha. I'm full of beans tonight. Me and Matthew. Oh, he's broken. I can break God? Can I launch God? <laughs> Monado Cyclone. Monado Crash. How do you like that one, bucko? See, in that last cutscene, A gave us the little nod of uh, affirmation. What are you using? I'm scared. What are you about to unleash, dog? Is this the Prometheus situation like in Xenoblade 2 where he just wipes your whole party? Did I break it? Did I do it good? But flawed Monado Busters. Flawed? It would have been perfected Monado Buster, but I broke his stance. Cleanse the dregs. What's a dreg? Hey, hit him with it! He's going into phase two, though. This could get scary. This could get this could get this could get spooky. He's getting molly whopped right now. Requiem for the olden ones. What does that mean, dude? Holy moly. Monado Wedge? What are we playing? Golf? Bro's got a nine iron. Whoa! Topple, please! Please hit the topple, somebody! Hey, break. Topple. Launch. Alpha. <laughs> it's over for you, bozo. Ether Calamity. Alpha, you may have been the beginning, but Nico Man's gonna be the end. I'm telling you. Nico's gonna hit above 150. Watch. Boom! Look at Ether Calamity. What is her weapon? That's so cool, dude. Alpha, I got one question for you. Are you really feeling it? <laughs> Do the gods smile down upon me today? That is gonna be the question. Matthew has to show up next round. Matthew, please show up! I'm gonna lose my mind! Yeah! Get, get flavor blasted! You're done! You're done, Alpha! Double spinning edge! Oh, I did kill him. Wait, I don't get to do an order? Okay, never mind. We're pogging. He's still standing? After all this? The music. Cheers to old Klaus! His gifts just keep on giving! Klaus started it all. Help him! Damn it! If only those two were here! Who? Who is he talking about? Matthew. Oh, I know who he's talking about. Raise the ladies. <laughs> Sorry, I had to process that for a second. The I ladies. The sword's power. Transfer it to your fists of the end. <gasps> fists of the end. So N is totally on our side right now. No way. Drive it in. Release the power of Ouroboros. N is redeeming himself right now. Oh, You're kidding me! I ain't taking orders. Is he gonna do it? From you. Dude! I saw it! I saw it! An Aegis Core. Into Lucky 7, dude. Is he gonna get the gauntlet? Is he gonna have Noah's weapon? <laughs> Yo! Yo, what is going on? Oh, <laughs> that's a full Ouroboros. The sword of the end, maybe? Is he gonna pull it out of his chest again? He's massive. There's like five of them in there. Six of them? Is there seven of them in there? Seven of the... Gigantic feet! Punch him in his stupid face. <gasps> Matthew, your actions have made the future uncertain. Have you no regrets? Of course you have regrets. a choice of this magnitude, surely there is doubt. Well, yeah, of course he's scared. Oh, believe me, got him in spades. 
Is Alpha That's dying here? Forward. Always ahead. Yeah, he's fading. <laughs> Does he get it now? See ya. Just like Zed. It's like, how can you know that it's going to work out? And Matt, <laughs> Noah was like, I don't know it's going to work out. But I still got to keep going. And wow, N, dude. At least redeeming himself a little bit. I mean, he redeemed himself at the end of the base game too, but... So there's an Aegis core in his knuckle. What is going right, on? We are. Just one last thing then. Uh, yeah. What? You got it. Why? Why? I will cry. Why? Was Why? Why do they have to do I that? Am an avatar. Okay, I knew about you. The spirit of your world. I knew about you. But why the other two? Just like Alpha needed all of you. You and your world. You need me. An avatar. What? The annihilation. If I'm not there to stand by happen, you in that effort, you like it or not. Then someone the else will. Needs a bit of propping up until the time comes. Yes. Hold they on. knew this. Don't do this. You don't have to sacrifice yourselves. It's not like that. We're helping. And that's different. How exactly? Why? Fundamentally. Not the blowjob brothers. Glimmer. As long as you lot do your part to change this world. It'll all go back to normal. And if we don't manage, then what? My lifetime. It's barely a blip. The next generation. If you don't, pass it on. That's what Zeke said at Let the end of two. Let someone else carry on your dream. It's not much, but we can offer you a gift. Hi. We can imbue you with our life. Keep the <sighs> wheels turning. That way, you'll be able to live out the rest of your lives. Enough time to do what you must. No, but... Oh, hey, don't get us wrong now. It's all right. <laughs> we'll meet again. Trust me. What? <sighs> Teacher. Boss. This is against the rules. You know this. They earned it, dude. Don't be a spoil sport now. If it was them, I don't think they'd even bat an eyelid at helping. <laughs> Admittedly. Well, I suppose you have earned it. Very he well. Did her. They did I didn't earn see it. You'll hear anything. Thanks a lot, Alvis. Oh! So that's what they meant, imbuing them with life. Literally got then, rid of their flame clock. It's all up to you now. With us taking the role of the Avatar, Zed may well seize upon it to gain power. Avatar? What we did. And all that concerns origin will become but a dim memory. Nevertheless, our intentions will live on and one day coalesce again. They Be will tomorrow, coalesce again. Or in a thousand years. At the end of Xenoblade Surely, 3, the base game. The time will eventually come. I can see it clear as day. Where we walk forward with everyone hand in hand? Like Alvin said at the end of one, maybe? Our future is in your hands. We'll be waiting at the far edge of time. So are they literally dying or becoming a part of Origin or what? They're going away. That's all I know for sure. You actually did see it coming, didn't you? <laughs> I knew the whole time. Right. And all that will. The only thing I see is what the flow encompasses. But your hope lives on. That much is certain. Nico, man, you're not doing too good. What happened? I didn't think they'd show them, like, dying or going away. You remember more Ardain is... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> is it about to get smashed? The whole world's gonna get bonked. We saw this scene in the main game of Origin smashing into Earth. We just didn't... I just didn't realize it was <laughs> doing what it was doing. And that's why Origin's in the center crater. 
I was wondering, I was like, how is Origin gonna get in a giant crater surrounded by ocean? Oh, but we got out somehow. Wanna get back to it then? What do you have to say, N? I highly doubt you have the strength left. And N doesn't want to kill you either. Same goes for you. Don't make us actually fight. Mobius will never change. In any way. Forever transfixed. They will guard the endless now to the last. Including you. He knows Naturally. it's wrong, but he will. Well then. We'll be busy. What if you cannot make it happen? Your lives are pitifully short. We went over this. You got wax in your ears. If I can't, someone else will. Down the line. Yeah, he knows that too. Who knows? Maybe it'll even be you. Ah. In a way. Was so Matthew gonna start the new city now? Man, man, man. <coughs> Me too. Friends fail yet again. <coughs> Did Riku not say? Should not use so much noise bite. Friend, to please not include so much noise bite oh, or whatever. Spark. He's still going at it. We're powering up the Ouroboros stone. Just about done with it now. That was a full, full power Ouroboros. Now if we could only that was even fuller power operative photon wave frequency. than what we got in the base if game. If get it to work, we'll be able to deploy that power whenever we feel like it, right? Right. I'll admit the photons have limited capacity. But only six so people. able to empower quite that many people all <laughs> okay. in one go. More importantly, you don't want to be late. The send-off? <gasps> oh, that's right. I better get moving. Take care, all right? You sure you're gonna be fine alone? Oh, yes. oh yeah, he's It'll going. Relief, if anything. Well, someone's full of himself. Matthew, thank you for everything. I thought uh, they were gonna have like an off scene right, for <laughs> Rex and Shulk. This is what they said was gonna happen in the city. Also, while I'm gone, keep an eye on the city, eh? Not help. He went off on Lima. his own and started a new city. Lima. Panacea, Linka. Oh, and you, Riku. <laughs> Why Riku lost? <laughs> <laughs> yep, the founders, Once yeah. I found us some friends, I'll come home again. Mm -hmm. Get back safe. And he is one of the sure. founders, Matthew. Alrighty. The seventh Time is Riku! Oh, I forgot! The They're like, history said but there might have been a seventh seven founder, but no here. one knows. <laughs> He's out of here. No one can prove if the seventh founder exists. Of course it was Riku! Oh, here's the credits. At a loss in front of a door. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I know that. I know that one. Seeing eyes. What do you see? Until you open it, you cannot know. Afraid to see. What could be on the other side? Bro, it's really all over. Oh, now it's doing the. I've seen Here's the Aegis. Damn, dude. Will you give up and stay where you belong? Your time I'm glad I recorded this. <laughs> I'm gonna like looking back on this someday. Dude, all I can think of right now. It's just how much Etika would have loved this game. Because oh, Etika was a special kind of streamer, dude. I distinctly remember the day before I moved out for college, August 10th, 2018. He was playing the end of Xenoblade 2, and my parents were yelling at me to hurry up and get packed. But I was just so anxious about the whole thing that I, I just couldn't move and I just remember sitting and watching him finish the game. I wish he could have seen this. The two worlds. The 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 ball things. They separated. I see you by the door. Like at the end of the base so game. Just walk through. Don't take too long. Cause everything you've said you find In a future
Did they become one world again? So they're not gonna show it, but Noah and Mio got to be together again? Monolith soft. Monolith soft, you did it again. Oh, I'm glad I made this. And it's a shame that I couldn't make it on one and two because I'd already played them already, but... Guys, you have no idea how much work this series was, though. I, I'm not joking when I, I say I dedicated six months of my life's free time to just making the series as great as I could. Something about the ending of all the Xenoblade games make you feel human. You know, I already talked about this at the end of the base game. It's true. Every time they know what they're doing. This is very similar to the ending screen of the base game, right? They're standing in the same spot. Whatever 16 year old on Tumblr wrote the script for this game, you did it. You did it. Fan fiction at its finest. Mwah. Oh, look at me. This is the man who saved the world. <laughs> so two saviors. Here's an eighth save from Mark Stage battling us two heroes of legend. <gasps> I don't know. What could the two legendary heroes be? <laughs> Maybe. And they would only unlock after I beat the DLC. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the brothers of the blowjob variety. <laughs> okay. Sure, I don't know if I'm going to win this, but I'll try. Uh, really? Uh, no voice line? <laughs> okay, that's great. That's Pog. Master Driver Rex. That's his class name? Ooh. We must trust our path. We must trust our path. We will seize the future. We will seize the future. I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> He's not really feeling it. And with that, you guys, I, I bid you farewell. Thank you all for watching my playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Future Redeemed. This is a monster of a project. I'm so glad and so sad that it's gonna be done. For those of you that stuck around, you're real ones. Thank you, everybody.